Does it work? Yes. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, welcome. Uh, I said, my name is uh, Joost van Bouw, and I will talk about uh, the work I did on integrating Mailman with PGP and the SMIME so that you can have a secure list server. Um, you can uh, reach me, and you can reach the project. Uh, the style of the presentation is somewhat different than the, what the one you saw before. Um, I choose, uh, there are various uh, list servers, of course, and I choose to work on Mailman, and I can show you why. Uh, yes, it works. This is an overview of the various uh, mailing list uh, servers there are uh, in the open source world, and this graph uh, depicts the popularity within Debian as Debian packages, so how many people are using this, this specific mailing list uh, server software. Well, as you can see, they all about this, have about the same popularity. Uh, and this one looks a little bit different. Where's the point on there? This is Milman, and this is the rest. So everybody's using Milman. Well. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, What, what is the server does is, uh, okay, you have someone who wants to post a, uh, a message to the mailing list server, and uh, there are subscribers who want to receive the post. Uh, what I did was uh, uh, make it possible that, that the list itself has a key pair, either PGP or SMIME, and for people wanting to post, they can submit their public keys, either PGP or SMIME, to the list server. So then you when, when a poster uh, encrypts to the list key, then this traffic is uh, encrypted. And when a subscriber has submitted this public key to the list, then this traffic can be encrypted too. And at both points, there also can be authentication because the list server can say, hey, you are a poster, but you didn't sign your mail with a submitted key, so I'm not allowing your, your message to get in. And uh, the other side also, the, the server can sign the outgoing posts with its own key so that people can say, okay, this, this post really got accepted by the list server and it's not from some other instance. Is, is that clear? Or, uh, if uh, people want to interrupt me with questions, that's fine with me. So uh, please do if you have any questions. Okay. Um, So this is the, for those of you who are familiar with Mailman, this is the, the membership configuration uh, web interface. And what I added was here uh, a box to uh, submit uh, your public keys. So these are additions on the Mailman code itself. And then we have uh, some other configuration uh, uh, interfaces for privacy options. Uh, as you can, in the previous uh, slides with, this, with the scheme, there are these, the, there are these deep two points where encryption and authentication can take place. There are various knobs you can tweak to, uh, to say what you want, what restrictions you want on, the, on these two paths in the, in the communication. And these are, uh, uh, here are some uh, knobs for GPG, and the similar knobs exist for, S, for SMIME. And here you can upload the keys if you are a list administrator for your list. Uh, so here's another one of these uh, uh, interfaces where you can tweak the knobs for, for your specific list. Um, okay. So. Both for, both for PGP and for SMIME, the, these four knobs uh, exist. For the poster, so it's at, at, this is at the first part of the, where, the, uh, the mail gets, where the mail gets accepted by the list server. You can uh, say, should the post be encrypted to the list key? Should the post be signed by some uh, registered member? And once it's accepted, 
uh, should it be distributed encrypted to the member keys and should the server sign it with its own key. So you can have various uh, uh, options on how, how, how strong you want authentication and uh, message integrity. Um, let's see. Uh, well, this is about the overview I wanted to give about of the, the mainlist server. Of course, the code is in, uh, in Python. It's Mailman itself is in Python. Uh, it's submitted at a, in a bizarre branch. Uh, so you can contribute patches, of course. Uh, what else? Um, i got a question. Yes, please. Uh, so how do you install this? Is it a plugin or is it no, a plugin? No, currently it's only distributed as a patch. So you have to... Uh, to get the mail montable itself, apply the patch, and uh, do configure, make, make install. I'm currently working on, uh, on binary packages for Debian and, uh, and RPMs, but these are not yet uh, there. Well, actually, I started uh, working on the project, some, the patch exists for quite a long time. And uh, I started working on it a couple of years ago. And at, that point, at some point in time, there were binary packages. But, uh, well, the work continued, and the uh, focuses were elsewhere. Oh, and I should, I should mention one other thing. Um, uh, the Ananat Foundation uh, funds the, the work, so uh, I got a fund of to uh, work and code. I want to distribute the handouts. So I'll come back to you. I have some uh, more complete stories about it, and uh, please pass them. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, should I repeat the question for the audio? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the question was: uh, Did I uh, did I write spam assassin rules to uh, reject or accept uh, the post? No, I did not. Uh, the the validation of the uh, uh, whether the message is properly signed is done by Mailman itself, because all the PGP and SMIME handling is in, in the in the patch itself, so it's not it's not ex external. So no no spam assassin or whatever. Okay. And I want to reject it. Okay. Uh, so the spam assessment rules uh, are supposed to be used by someone who subscribes to the list to decide whether the list is properly signed by the list key. Now I did not write these uh, rules, but indeed that's uh, that's a valuable uh, thing to add. Uh, one other thing I should mention. Uh, um, of course, you can have a, uh, encryption and uh, signing. You can use PGP while operating on main lists. You don't need any support for the list server, actually. But what this patch adds is uh, it delegates the key management from the subscribers or the users participating in the, in the list to the key server. Uh, is that clear? Uh, traditionally, you'd have to, uh, to encrypt your message to, to all the members of the list. And, of course, that's a hassle if you have a big list. So this key management is uh, delegated and handled by the list itself. I saw one other okay, one question. No, no, no. Uh, the question is what the list server does. That's what you want to know. Okay. Well, the list server encrypts to each uh, member separately or encrypts to all? Um, it uh, encrypts to, to, to each member separately. It does not make one message and sends it to all, but they all got specific messages specifically for them. Yeah? Ah, that's an interesting question. Uh, the mailman development is uh, interesting. There are about two persons working on uh, upstream now, which is very few, given the installed base and the size of the code. There is a stable branch and an unstable branch. Of course, uh, upstream doesn't want big changes on the stable branch. And the, the unstable branch, well, some weeks ago, there was a first beta release. It's not distributed with any popular distribution, so nobody's using it except for people interested in normal development. So that's why I choose to, uh, to patch the, the stable base uh, so that I had the opportunity of making uh, with relatively little effort Debian packages and RPM so that people could easily use it. And, uh, Until the next version comes out, you try to get it upstream for the next version too, or you just 
well, the next the next version, which actually is, is going to be used, is probably a version of a stable branch. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, archives are not encrypted. Uh, the idea is that if you want to use this uh, functionality, you just, just should not archive your lists. So, uh, archiving is, is uh, there's Piper Mail, which, which is the default archive for Mailman, which everybody hates. So, yeah, I, th I don't think it would be useful to, to work on that code. Uh, what use cases do you see for this? Sorry? What use cases? What scenarios? Oh, okay. Uh, the, I, um, you have lots of knobs, and uh, uh, one interesting thing uh, is uh, you could say uh, <coughs> you could allow encrypted messages, and if you have the Chinese dissident case that someone wants to send out a message to the world, wants to be anonymous and don't, doesn't want the message to be to get wiretapped uh, in his own uh, network, then he can encrypt it to the list server key. And uh, once it's there, it gets uh, distributed. Uh, so that, that, that would be a nice case. Of course, it's a very effective, it can be used as, as a very effective anti-spam uh, measurement, because uh, I don't think spam engines are going to uh, use encryption uh, to get sp send spam to lists. They, they do already. I've seen they it do? I've seen it's not fake, but I've seen it once or twice already. Uh, signed or encrypted? Uh, at least signed. Signed, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. They're going to mail signs from, uh, yeah. Okay. But they won't be properly signed. No. Yeah. 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 The spam fight. It, it's a. It's a mutual fight. So I think it's just the next step. I don't know. I think it could be really helpful. But yeah. Well, if you, if you have uh, some some secret stuff to discuss, uh, then that, that of course that's the main use case. You wanna. Uh, you want to discuss privately. Uh, you want to be sure about whom you're discussing with, and uh, you want uh, you don't want to have this big hassle of key management, and that that's the main use case, of course. So. Yeah, yes. There is only the point that you have one point of failure on the server. Yes. So yes. You consider it's not that safe. So no. Well, yeah. Well, it, it's it's always a trade-off. Uh, the alternative is that you do key management uh, by all individuals themselves, and uh, this, so the, that would require lots of clue uh, to each uh, participant in the discussion. So, any more questions? Yes. So, um, if I subscribe to the list, then I have to give up the, a key server where my keys or No, you s you can submit your public key uh, using the web interface. But there, there are, there are other, uh, other scenarios possible. So the list, list of managers can choose, no, I don't want this. I want to, to do the key management in a different way. Uh, so. now you, oh, yeah, you can submit your key only once. Because otherwise, uh, there would be some interesting security uh, issues. So. Any more questions? Which we got? Well, we almost out. We have two more minutes. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, uh, and, uh, I don't know if anybody got the paper. I guess. Yeah. Okay. I had a lot of papers. Uh, well, they're all gone now, but. <laughs> okay. Thank you.